Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the JMA seasonal model for today's first video. Uh, we're going three months ahead with the um, Japanese uh, meteorological agency long range model. It's going to take us through October into November. We're going to finish up in December, so the final quarter of uh, 2019, I suppose. Um, this, of course, ahead of the first seasonal model roundup of winter of 2019-2020 that we're going to release on Saturday. That'll be the first video up on Saturday morning. Uh, this actually won't form part of that season model roundup because it only runs through December, so it doesn't go far enough into winter to be able to include it. But in any case, you're going to see what the JMA is showing for the next um, three months very shortly. Later on this afternoon, we'll have the regular week's 10-day video update that will include all of the usual features, of course. So we're going to begin with the uh, JMA um, Northern Hemisphere view uh, for next month, for October uh, 2019. So, of course, it's only uh, one month away. So if everything is working correctly, this should be the most reliable part of uh, the update. Uh, remember, yellow, orange and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure, blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. So for October, the JMA is placing an area of above average heights to our northeast and east, uh, with below average heights in the middle of the Atlantic. Um, so the low pressure in the Atlantic is probably bringing quite unsettled conditions into the country, but the way the ridge to the east and the low to the west are aligned, we're also probably bringing up quite warm air from the south. So I anticipate that's probably quite an unsettled month, actually. Maybe more unsettled than you would think just by looking at the height anomaly. Uh, so probably quite an unsettled month and also, I suspect, rather on the warm side as well. So it could be uh, a mild October, yes, but also potentially quite an unsettled October too. Uh, November looks properly unsettled, an area of below average heights then sitting just to our uh, northwest. Uh, that would be feeding in westerly winds and it just, look, just, look, just looks like a very unsettled Atlantic driven month. There is a little bit of high pressure to our north, so there's some high pressure up here that might feed down some cooler air into that um, into that low, into the trough. Uh, but it looks like an Atlantic westerly month, really, which would be quite a mild month, but also potentially unsettled, quite wet. Uh, could be even a little bit on the stormy side as well. Notice we've got rid of that ridge uh, to our east, so the winds are sort of shifted from kind of southerly to um, proper westerly. So uh, a westerly, Atlantic-driven, and potentially a little bit uh, stormy uh, November, perhaps. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we go through to December. This is three months away, so it's a very long way out. It looks like we've got ridging uh, building in from the south and the west then. So above average heights centred over the Azores, but building this ridge into the west of Europe. The low pressure has been pushed out towards Greenland and Iceland. Jet stream will be going northwards as well. It's still westerly, but uh, much more anticyclonic type conditions. So that could be a, a rather drier month in December, but still very mild, or it would be a very mild month. The wind will be coming in with that from the west or from the southwest. There's no northern blocking whatsoever to push cold air out of the um, out of the pole. So uh, it just just looks like it would be a west southwesterly feed. Um, with a reasonable amount of high pressure bringing mainly dry conditions, but potentially mild or even very mild uh, with that during uh, December. Looking at the tro tropical and mid-latitude uh, view next. So the UK is in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it. We can't see the pol polar view, but of course we have just seen uh, that view. Anyway, that's off the chart up here. So uh, for... Um, October, we've got low pressure in the Atlantic. We've got high pressure to our east, northeast. This low pressure is bringing in those west southwest winds but, uh, and outbreaks of rain, but probably also drawing up some quite warm air from the south at times. Temperature anomalies don't look that mild, actually. I was expecting it to be a rather warmer month than this, and I do think that... Um, Based on the uh, on the uh, anomaly on the 500 mm height anomaly, uh, I reckon that could probably be uh, a warmer month in October than that is shown. It could be a very mild October indeed. 
also rather unsettled uh, month as well, especially so for England and Wales, a little bit less so for Scotland. Generally, rainfall is a bit above average. And the wind direction is looking like this. So actually, uh, it's always a job to make these black arrows out, but actually they're kind of like south east is to almost easterlies during October. So that perhaps explains why it's not quite as warm a month as I was anticipating, because you can see the black arrows from here feeding all the way in from eastern uh, parts of Europe across the continent and uh, sort of heading into the UK. So it is a little bit more easterly than uh, I expected during October. And of course, east and October aren't going to be all that warm uh, unless there's a southerly component to them. So that probably explains why it's not an overly warm signal for October, but still a little bit above average and rather unsettled. Uh, November very westerly, so uh, low pressure is out to the west-northwest, feeding in those uh, westerly winds with 500 millibar. High to normally. Temperatures during uh, November are uh, somewhat warmer than average, a mild and average month being uh, anticipated there. And also unsettled, more unsettled in November than October, of course. So um, precipitation anomalies are significantly uh, above average. The mean wind direction for uh, November, and it was very clear cut on the 500 millibar high to anomaly with the black arrows we see west south west is feeding into the uk so it's a very atlantic driven potentially wet and also stormy month in november and then we're into uh, december and then of course we've got this ridge out to our west southwest that's feeding into the uk and into west parts of europe as well low pressure up here around greenland and iceland jet has been pushing northwards into that direction uh, temperature anomalies are still holding up above average during December, a mild and average uh, month and three months being predicted here by the JMA. Uh, looks a little bit more unsettled perhaps than you might have thought from the uh, 500 bit of our height anomaly as well. Above average rainfall for Scotland and uh, Ireland anyway, England where it's probably a bit drier average. I think that could be a drier month than that's anticipating actually if the ridge is building up from the Azores into the west of Europe. I mean, northern and western parts of Scotland probably would still have um, potentially quite stormy conditions at times, but particularly for England and Wales, that should be a reasonably dry signal. The uh, wind direction is sort of westerly again. Once more, it's a job to make black arrows out, but they are coming across the Atlantic into the UK uh, like that. But the centre of high pressure is down here, so there is a southwesterly component to those westerlies, meaning that uh, it is potentially a very, very mild signal that we've got there with JMA for December. And that's a really long way off, though. So if you want some colder weather uh, for December, it's not worth worrying about, really. It's a very long way out. But certainly the indication is there from the JMA that the next three months would like to be largely mild and average, quite unsettled, too, with um, bouts of rain, particularly in November. November looks like the most unsettled of the three uh, months. October's quite unsettled as well, though. And then probably going drier, but uh, pretty mild in November. Uh, December. That's how it's looking this month. It's just a snapshot of what the model is showing this month. It could all look very different uh, next month, so we'll see that. Of course, next month we'll be able to start including it within the uh, winter season model roundups as well. The first winter 2019-2020 season model roundup is going to be released as the first video up on Saturday. We won't be including the JMA in that this month, but as you've already seen it, we don't really need to. So uh, that'll be uh, up on Saturday, but coming up later on today, we're going to have um, the uh, we're going to have the week's 10-day video update uh, for today. JMA Friday tomorrow, of course, month ahead, look ahead, and uh, yeah, lots of updates on the way, so keep checking back to all of them. But uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.